opponents down. You're in the lead. Double down. Together as Double down. Together as Just took the lead. You made that look easy, Warlock. Yo, how is it going YouTube? Year One Blink here, back with another new video. Today's video, we have a new exotic gun. Well, it's old a little bit now. It's been like a month since it's been out. The Fourth Horseman. The Four Horsemen are figures in the Christian faith appearing in the New Testament's final book, Revelation and Apocalypse written by John of Patmos, as well as the Old Testament's prophetic book of Zechariah and in the book of Ezekiel where they're named as punishments from God. Wow, this is honestly insane. So much craziness. So basically, it's about the end of the world. But for our saying, we have, it's not a holdout weapon, it's a pathfinder. And for our intrinsic perk, we have Thunder. This weapon's rate of fires increase significantly and fires full auto. Okay, for its next perk, we have Arrowhead Break, greatly controls recoil, increases handling speed, then we have Assault Mag, greatly increases stability, increases fire rate. For our next exotic trait, we have Broadside. Each successive shot has more damage and more spread. Really cool perk, honestly, and it makes the Thunderer perk even better. And for our last perk, we have Fitted Stock, which increases stability, moderately controls recoil, slightly decreases handling speed. And for the stats we have for the gun, the impact's good, the range isn't too great, the stability's alright, handling is not great, reload speed is not that great. 360 rounds per minute, 4 in the magazine, this gun should wreck. We're using it with Astrocyte vs Nova Warp. We have large weapon loader, large arms reserves, and oversized weapon dexterity, so you guys could get more um, perks on your shotgun to wreck even harder with it especially in PvP and PvE. I'm really actually having a blast using this gun in the Crucible just because I'm just using it for fun 
like nobody uses it because it's not part of the meta you know but it's still rex to be honest and it's literally one of my favorite guns to use just for fun and at the end of the day if you know how to use this gun blink at people and you're just gonna get so close to shotgun them and done like that gotta really say about that and like basically the faster you shoot it the faster it's gonna kill too you can one shot people you gotta be really close like i was one shotting those guys and then for pve honestly this thing is really nasty especially if you have a lot of perks going for you like i'm trying to kill this um hive knight just unloading on this guy it does extra damage the more shot into it too as you can see i'm just literally melting this guy until you run out of bullets then you're kind of you're kind of wrecked <laughs> You can't really do much without any shotgun bullets so you want to run like a shotgun scavenger perk if you're using this gun because you're gonna be running through ammo really fast this gun honestly might be better for PvE than it is for PvP because most of the perks I feel like it's for PvE because the more shots you put in the more damage you do so you can do that extra damage you know what I mean and then right here I'm gonna go after all these thralls see how many I can kill so for like just regular ads, it's okay. Look, it kills a lot of them pretty quick. Not the best thing you can use, but I mean, it does its job for what it is. I feel like this is best used against um, yellow bar bosses because you're going to be stacking up damage because it fires full auto and it does more damage on each shot. So right here, I'm hitting for like 1,300, 1,400. I think... A couple times I hit for 1,628, but he kept hitting me with the whatever thing he has. <laughs> right here, I'm going to go after this Dread Hollowed Acolyte, and I'm going to slow it down to show you guys the damage numbers. So right here, continuous shots. First shot spreads, so you're getting like 500s on the spreads, and like 3,000 on like the main critical shot. So that's really good, to be honest. A lot of damage numbers coming in. Next, we can try to show this even better. Let's see. I'm going to go up to this ogre, see what we get. So, critical shot, I hit him for 2,328. The shotgun spread bullets is like 500 around. 500 to 400, I believe so. So, I feel like this wouldn't be such a bad option for PvE, to be honest, if you need to do a lot of boss DS. Okay, I'm going to put it slow motion again, so you can see the DPS. And right here, I shoot this wizard, Dread Hollowed Wizard, 600, it's around the body, 1,816 critical shots, melted. This next wizard just gets melted instantly. I mean, it's really good. It kills these yellow targets really fast, like if they were just regular red bar enemies. I feel like this exotic is worth getting, especially for PvE, because it does kill these yellow bar enemies pretty fast. I know it's not the best for like raid bosses or anything like that, but little ogres like this that you do do a lot of damage to up close, you can just literally melt them, as you can see right here. This guy's going to get literally melted. 3,057 damage to critical. 1,200 to 1,300 damage with the spread shots so I mean you, you don't have to use it I like using it but I feel like it's just not top tier but it's it's there you know but yeah I believe everyone should be using this in PvE that's my little mini review for PvE and for PvP it's really not meta in PvP like I said before but you could actually wreck with it it's not as good as like the Mindbender's Ambition, Dust Rock Blues or like the chaperone any guns like that that are kind of top tier but it does kill supers really good as you can see if you don't kill them in the first shot your second third or fourth shot will kill them if you're in that shotgun range it is going to waste a lot of ammo because it shoots so freaking fast it's literally like an auto rifle run special ammo scavenger or shotgun scavenger so that you get more ammo on people that you kill instead of one bullet so basically that's all I really got to say about this gun. It's an old favorite exotic from Destiny 1. It doesn't have a lot of range but it makes up for it with the fire rate and literally kills anyone that gets in your way. You want a blink shotgun they're going to die. You want to hover up in the air they're going to die. 
you just got to be really accurate with it hit your shots and um, if you didn't kill him with the first shot keep basically holding down that trigger full auto you're gonna literally kill them hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe if you want to see more videos like this have a wonderful day Thank <laughs> you.